Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed, and in this video, I want to show you how you can get the white space on an Exchange 29 database. I'm pretty sure the script will also work for Exchange 2013 and 2016, and it can be run in PowerShell ISE, as you can see here, or the Exchange Management Shell. So what does the script do? The script, if it's running in PowerShell ISE, it loads the snapping for Exchange, and then it goes and queries the mailbox databases, and then it gives you all the information regarding the mailbox database. So I've already saved the script. If I run it from the Exchange Management Shell, it'll take a couple of seconds. And as you can see, it's reporting on my default database on server one. I have 39 megs of white space, and on the second one, I've got 105 megs of white space. Now, as you move mailboxes around, as mailboxes get purged and added, etc., the white space grows. Eventually, you're sitting with a terabyte store, but in actual fact, you've only got 30 or 40 mailboxes on, and that's where the white space plays a role. Now, generally, what I do with white space is I create a new database, I move everything off, and I, and I remove that database going forward. It just saves you time instead of taking it offline to defrag it, because the bigger the mailbox, the longer the defrag takes, and it means that users will be offline for much longer. So just this quick PowerShell script that I put together for you. You can modify it if you want to go and search for more servers. You can maybe do a get exchange server piper to get mailbox database and then it should give the information as well so i hope this helps you look forward to showing you the next powershell script thank you very much for watching